Oh yeah, very quick. So game two is going to be Hidden Civs, No Huns, Aztecs or Mayans. Um, this afternoon we saw Spanish picked in game two by both players, I think. And I wonder what yeah, those players are up to. Do you have any uh, idea what we're going to see we right think, now? I don't know. Well, the uh, Brits Celts is always going to be a guess. There, there's the odd Mongol. We did have a couple of thoughts of Mongols, maybe the odd Persian. But I think Brits and Celts are going to be by far your most favoured civs. But it makes it really interesting that they, they, they're not set or they're not just... Hidden. You've got the options at the end of the swap. Hopefully game three will give us some different sieves again and then we'll actually get a swap of sieves. Well, I really like seeing some different sieves from Huns, Mains and Aztecs anyway. So that's why I really like this tournament as well. Just to see some variety in sieves and not always the mirror matchup as we have right now. NBL's got an awful base. He's almost surrounded by hills and hilled areas. If Slam plays more um, settled, less nervous, and he could potentially take advantage of this, be a bit aggressive himself. Yeah, indeed. If Slam is able to go aggressive on this map, then NBL might have a lot of trouble securing his goal. As all of his goal are quite awkward with all the hills over there, so he might have a hard time defending over there. It's a good place for Slam to springboard attacks from as well. Obviously, he's going to have the hill advantage majority of the time. NBL yeah, off. indeed. And NBL that's what off. you find quite often on Arabia, where your base is just surrounded by hills. And once you're pushed in a defending position, you might really struggle fighting uphill to actually get some control back. NBL is very consistent, isn't he? He always looks for that boss deal on Arabia. <laughs> he's hunting forward again. I don't know if he will pick up. Well, Slam has spotted him right now, small scout boss, but nothing interesting so far. Well, I guess he knows that MBL is really looking for those ball lames. And I can't blame him for it, obviously. As we've seen in the earlier games, he actually succeeded a few times. Well, Slam hasn't lost the, lost the villager this time to his first boar anyway. He's oh, that's a good thing, and no balls being lamed either. I think MBL has no clue where the second ball is. Yeah, he slams slams right keeping slams an eye on it. He's with his scout to just make sure it cannot yeah. get stolen at this if point. It, yeah, if you look, he's gone really, really early to take that ball because he just wants to relax. He wants to get that ball. I think if he gets this second ball in now to the TC, Slam will play more relaxed this game. Yeah, he... indeed. I think he's really calming down a little bit. He's just getting a bit more into the game. And... Yeah, I think it's great for Slam to actually <laughs> see him calm his nerves a little bit. Anyway, what are your expectations for the players to go this game? Like, are we going to see a rush into Fast Castle, or do you think more of a food or war? I don't know. I prefer Slam with Brits than I do MBL with Mongols, so we'll, we'll see if Slam can actually beat MBL with what I think is a better 1v1 sieve than what MBL has picked as Mongols. MBL almost had a, a naughty ball going back then. Yeah, indeed, he was just in time to hit it once more, making sure he doesn't lose the ball and make it run back. Anyway, there is a village of MBL going forward, and I was waiting for Barracks to come up, but well, it was a bit early anyway. Um, 3 on wood for MBL, and we have 4 on wood for Slam. Yeah, I don't think MBL is going to drush. No, indeed, and obviously he would need to add 1 on wood earlier, and Slam seems to be drushing this game, as he is getting the barracks up right now. So I wonder if he'll be able to do enough damage. I mean, the wood lines of um, MBL are quite far away, so maybe he can do some damage over there. It's MBL's gold that's going to be the biggest concern, and the hills around the front yeah, of his base. If Sam... Especially if he's going for food or archers. He probably wants to drop the archer range next to it, but he got to make sure he gets it up in time. MBL's he missing... He didn't even find his 7 and 8 sheep, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I was going to say, he's missing his 2 sheep, all right. Because he's, he's off, isn't he? He's hoping to pick them up on his way back. I don't know if he's going to try and push deer from 
as far out as they are. He may do. Yeah, I think he is. No. Nope. Yeah, yeah, it seems like he is. But well, that's just a simple. Well, it's not really a risk you're taking. But if you're going to stand out your scout that early to see if you can lame a ball, and obviously you might lack your sheep in the early game. I don't um, think Slam. I don't think Slam is rushing. No, he is not rushing. He did no, get a barrier straight time up. I didn't even notice his food. But it seems like maybe he changed his mind. Yeah, he's going straight off archers. Quite interesting because I really think yeah, he really followed the usual Drush build order. I think like maybe he checked the map of MBL a bit more. He found out well, maybe after all, Drushing isn't the right call. and just decided to go for the food while. And let me see if Slam is going to push in those deer right now. Not quite. Our trains going up for Slam. Stable going up for MBRs. You could kind of expect of the Mongols. I'd like to see Slam be aggressive though one. Go forward now. Yeah, indeed. Let me check how much of the map he actually scouted. He does know two of the three goals. He doesn't know the third goal is in the front as well, but I hope Slam is really going offensive on this map and abusing the bad gold spots of MBL. And he's might... finally getting his sheep in, getting a spear out, knowing he's, well, getting a spear oh, out. Oh, he lost his... He may as well, sure he would have been why. better off carrying on running than Slam. <laughs> Lost his scout, so that'll probably mean he's gonna sit back for longer. And now an archer range coming up for MBL as well. Slam's map is fairly easy. Once he puts that one palisade down, it's fairly easy. Indeed, quite a nice map, but he doesn't have any additional gods in the... Oh, yeah, never mind, he does have the additional gold over there. It is a bit in the front, but it should be safe on the scouts anyway. And he might struggle against some archers, but now Skirmish is coming out for MBL. Obviously, versus Britons, you're going to expect the archers coming in. I think MBL will run straight through that gap. With no, nothing at all, he'll just run that spear ragged now. He'll run it around... <laughs> Directly, I doubt he already scouted everything. He knows he's taking Golda, he knows his boot line, but I don't think he's able to do any damage here with three scouts, and I think he isn't making any more scouts, is he? Yeah, but it's giving him lots of decent information though, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? He's come straight through. He's seen he's seen Slam is all archers, which I mean he's gonna pretty much guess anyway, but he can see exactly what's going on now. Yeah, okay, the information is nice, but he didn't lose his initial scout, and for, at this point, is it really worth getting the stable out for the three scouts? Okay, he's actually making more right now. They will fare fairly well against the archers. Well, so with, his, it is worth... with his skirms, he's going He's going to go all skirms, obviously, as, as backup. I don't think it's bad at all. Well, he seems to be doing quite a bit of damage. Almost looked as if he was going to pick another villager. Um, MBL, spoken about villagers, is a little bit behind. I think it's just plain because he got housed a few times. And nothing else, really. <laughs> All the scouts being dangerously low should be picked up any second now. I don't yeah. think he's able to do but any they've... more damage, but if yeah. he can get up to Castle in the meanwhile, he should be fine. They've done a good well, job, though. I mean, Castle anytime close. Is mining stone again? Slam Village hasn't. Is going yeah, but Slam hasn't gone anyway. He hasn't done a single thing other than sit in his base just because he got three scouts running around. <laughs> yeah, yeah indeed, that, he really. It just shows that he's lacking. Almost forced all those archers to be idle just to deal yeah, with the three scouts. Scouts. So MBL's sitting there thinking, "Thank you very much. I can be nice and safe and comfortable at home." It just shows well, Slam is very, very lacking in in confidence, or he's extremely nervous still. Yeah, it's really being on the defense, where offense probably is the bad option right here. MBL, however, got a second archer in forward, is going to add more skirmishes, and is also starting to make a tower. Yeah, he's... Um, and it's, of Slam. It's, it'll be a decent spot as well. Slam's not going to see it. He's, he's not coming out or doing anything on that side. He's trying to send his whole bunch of archers forward now. 
NBL Skirms have gone forward. Well, as soon as Slam can get through the Palisade on the left side, he should be able to do some damage with the Archers. Um, that is, if MBL doesn't respond in the meanwhile, but it seems like he's getting a defensive tower on his boot line already. Yeah. So I think he should be safe. He'll be totally safe. He can block off that bit, run his villagers through, go to the backward down the left, and yeah, I, I don't think Slam's... Over uh, there. I don't think Slam's archers are going to do anything, whereas in the meantime, Slam's been pushed off his main gold. Um, well, it's actually his extra gold, and he's moving to his main gold right now, and his first thought is just to, well, at first he had a tower, going up at the main goal, but it seems like he cancelled it for now. And is now going to build a tower rather between his goal and the wood line to prevent any further tower pushing. As he probably realises the wood line might be a bit more important than the goal right now. Well, to defend from the tower push. Anyway, MBL might lose some villages here, one going down, second one going down, I think some will still survive, so the forward isn't dead yet. And Slam getting on stone now as well, he got in on the north as we mentioned earlier, but yeah, MBL just warning it off easily. That's a bit of a, <laughs> a risky tower there, MBL, that's going a bit too far I think. I thought maybe he would have put a tower right up by the archery ranges. Because that can help him a lot later later in the game, controlling um, um, Slam's military production area. Yeah, indeed. And Slam is now getting a stable. He's get it. And I wonder if he's going to opt for scouts again. I think he was the player that went for scouts as well last game versus all the skirms of MBL. Um, yes, he was. MBL six six villages behind. Economy-wise, he's he's a fair way behind Slam, but he just feels like he's a lot more. He's more in control. Do you know what I mean? Don't get me yeah, wrong. He... Slam Slam gets if Slam gets the castle a long time before MBL, then he can turn the whole thing around. But it just MBL seems to be playing a lot more comfortable and easier than Slam. Slam's just trying to counter and second guess everything MBL's doing. Yeah, indeed. And to be honest, I'm still a bit surprised with how the village account is distributed. Um, MBL simply has less, but he didn't really lose any villages except in the forward, which were two villages, if I'm not mistaken. But I think he simply got housed a few times, and that's the main reason he's behind. Not entirely sure, though. I think he didn't lose any other villages. Lamb still trying to see if he can do any damage with the archers while well, he's picking up some skirmish, but it isn't going to do an awful lot. MBL's problem is going to be he's all all skirms and it won't be long, and Slam can click up. But, but I mean, the simple thing would be a stable down, or a couple of knights, whatever, because MBL is all skirms and a couple of towers. There's nothing with it. It's not even a spear with them. But you, you don't know if Slam's thought process is going to be normal slam play or tournament play. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be interesting. He got the stable already, so I wouldn't be surprised to see slam going knights in the castle age, and that will really clean up most of MBL's army. As as you mentioned, only skirms and some towers, that isn't going to do an awful lot. Slams. And MBL is still very, very far away from clicking up to castle age. Yeah, slams forwards haven't even killed the villager. I mean, this castle age is going to get it for him. You can see MBL's resources on the stream, guys. He's 200 odd food and zero gold. He hasn't even put a mining camp down for gold, which I don't I don't get at 25 minutes into the game and 40 villagers he hasn't got. Well, anyway. there has been a lot of archers trolling around his base, so it's really risky to actually get some gold in for him. Yeah, but even if he didn't mine it, you'd think he would have built all that time he was safe with his three scouts running around Slam's base. You'd think he would have walled off, or at least blocked off and built up around his gold spots. I mean, Slam's army's gone now from MBL's base. Yeah, and he totally wound up with skirmishes, but Slam's halfway going up to the castle age, and... From down, he might be able to clean up most of MBL's army without really losing any. He's risking fighting skirms way too much though, and under MBL's tower again. Yeah, indeed. I do not like a fight Slam is picking over here. 
losing hit points. I mean, look at most of his archer army there. They've got hardly any hit points left at all. Just for the sake of a couple of skirms, they weren't doing anything to him. Yeah, indeed. It's not like he's losing the fight right now, but I just feel like it isn't cost effective fighting underneath all those towers. One, you're going to hit Castle H2, and I suppose we'll just do so much more damage than the archers will be able to do right now. Even though I wouldn't be surprised to not see Ixbo upgrade coming in, as he probably wants to use his resources to get a knight's head. And now we have it, knight well, being queued, and Biel is finally getting yeah. the gold in to get up to Castle Age. It's not worth slam going crossbows, he's only got five archers on one skirm. And half of those archers are almost dead, so it's yeah, a waste it's of really resource upgrading. Just go all knights. And he is going all knights at least, I mean. I was part worried that he would... <laughs> Well, and Biel is finally up to Castle Age, but I think Slam will have a huge frame of time to actually deal a lot of damage to MBL. First few knights are out right now, more coming up. And there's really nothing that stops those knights from raiding except those towers, but that still will force a lot of idle time. It's just so messy, it's so messy though. You know, I'd have to watch this again and think, MBL, where did you go wrong? Because Slam has done... Nothing that says, yeah, he was definitely better in this game, or, or you know, I don't know what I missed, because NBL was so much behind. I know he went more skirms and he went some scouts, but so late getting on to gold. <clears throat> I think he just continued his food regression a bit too long and just delayed his Castle Age doing so, and Castle Age was going to be quite important in his matchup, especially as um, uh, Slam was able to get the resources in safely anyway, because he wasn't doing an awful lot of damage. Maybe he did force quite a bit of idle time. Slam. Obviously he killed some villages, but what did yeah. it do in the end? Slam needs to be looking at his crossbows now with Brits, because he knows MBL. Yeah, he needs archers and crossbows. He knows MBL, as soon as he hits, is going to go heavy camel. It's going to go heavy on the camels. Yeah, indeed, but the archers of the Britons will be able to deal with it fairly easily, I think. Yeah, he's got to get them out, though. He's nice. only, only got two. The knights will be able to do quite a bit of damage in the meanwhile, I think. I wonder if there's any camels coming out right now. Well, actually, knights coming out for MBL right now. And camels in the front, knights in the back. Yeah, I don't, I don't see the point in any knights coming when you're so far behind on the knight count and your stable's going down. You may as well just make your camels. Yeah, indeed, but maybe he's fearing that his camels will simply die too easily against the expos. It's a bit of a... Uh, yeah, it's just quite a nasty spot for MBL, uh, because yeah, MBL. has a really nice army composition, the knights and the archers, so... Now he does, yeah, MBL needs to regroup and just GB, just GB get his own skirms or elite skirm upgrade, build his eco up, build his army up. There's no point in trying to fight with what he's got. He just needs to hope that Slam holds off before he comes to his base, for long enough to MBL to build up himself and get defensive. Anyway, and we are now got three town centers up and running, one in the front of the stone and one in the back of the Zord wood line. For Slam we have one additional town center which is up, no, oh sorry, a third one as well on his main gold. And the village difference is still quite a bit in favor of Slam. And I think this, the castle age was really a turning point for Slam because he hit it so much earlier. The knights were able to push up most of his army, and now MBL has a really hard time responding to this. Yeah. MBL, all his, his only chance now really, as I said, is just delaying Slam to go to MBL's home base. And I think Slam will hang on, he'll push, he'll make sure MBL's gone from around him, and then he'll start to go. Yeah, indeed, but MBL hardly has any army right now to stop it. There's a 14 army difference in favor of Slam, obviously. And I think Slam should just be a bit more confident and go more aggressive from here. And it's not but, like the three camels and three knights will do an awful lot of damage. I know, but that's the difference, though, isn't it? He hasn't got that confidence. We've seen his armies already that have done pretty much nothing on MBL's base. And even now, he, does, he isn't sure what MBL's got at all. He has no yeah, idea dude, He's how moving far to the front. left side now, but he's going to have a hard time dealing any damage now. It's kind, yeah, kind of double walled. Both town centers are going up for MBL next to his extra gold. 
he knew that was the area of MBL was safe in earlier when he first sent his archers there, so I don't understand why he goes there first. Yeah, he scouted everything. He knows the boot line is close. Maybe he thinks that MBL might have overcut, but that's going to be a disappointing result because he did not. So the Knights are just going to waste a lot of time and not doing any damage, even though he has such an advantage at this point. But the villager difference is actually closing Very it right close. now. Very close. Yeah, it's only eight, eight or five difference. Well, earlier we had ten villager difference. It's not a huge gap being closed, but still. Anyway, most of MBL's forward is being cleaned up right now. Ram doing a great job considering that. But it feels like they are big back to zero. Um, no player really feel like they did an awful lot of damage. We can see Slam being ahead by quite a bit. I mean, he still has the village lead, has quite a bit more military. And Slam actually has the resources to click to imp right now. He has the university, he has the buildings. And there we go. Slam is going up to imp. And MBL, however, is again very no far away here. from clicking up. Yeah, he's nowhere near. But slams still there's no there's no thought of aggression, is it? You know what I mean? There's nothing going forward, there's nothing building forward. There's nothing taking up on the hills. Yeah indeed, even though aggressive play would be really rewarded for Slam on this map, there's just nothing happening on his side. Maybe he's like, hey, I just invested a bunch of resources in Imperial Age, let's make sure I get the advantage from being Imp, having the additional upgrades, and from there on maybe start pushing, and that might be why he is afraid right now, but, but it's not really necessary. He's risking, I mean, you look now on top of his base, depends what MBL Micro's like, but Slam's potentially gonna lose all of his crossbow army there, before he hits Imp and upgrades him to Arbalists. Yeah, indeed, and that's just really waste the potential of the army if he just group up a little bit more see if he could do some damage more villages from me are moving forward by the way I I, MBL will he... drop a castle MBL will drop a castle right up right into slam it's aggression and slams just played into MBLs and he's given MBL the best chance of getting back in this game I think yeah, dude, he's trying to do some damage underneath the town centers right now, picking off a few villages, but still nothing too exciting happening. And even when he gets to Imperial, though, what has he got? He's got six crossbowmen, which could be Ar Arbalists in MBL's base, which is not going to be hard for MBL to get rid of. In the meantime, MBL is completely raiding Slam's, Slam's base, and he's putting a castle right on top of him. Yeah, dude, MBL is really... The frames where he has an advantage, where he has an opportunity, he's really using it to deal damage. Whereas Slam I think he's, is a he's, bit more hesitant well, and he's just playing with not making any plays. He's playing with confidence, which is what I was going to say before the stream started tonight. MBL's doing doing a lot, lot better lately. I mean, he puts in a huge amount of time and effort for the game, so it's not surprising he's improving. But he's also confident and comfortable in tournaments, and, and I think in this match, there's no pressure on MBL, and every all the pressure's on Slam, and that's showing in the games. I mean, MBL was a mile behind in this. We couldn't work out why, but he was a mile behind, and, and Slam was just too reluctant to take any advantage of it. Yeah, and it's really a pity on Slam where not really his gameplay is holding him back, but rather his decision making, which might be influenced by, yeah, just the nerves. Just confidence. Slam. Yeah, it's all it is. It's nerves and confidence. And now MBL is taking the Ville lead again, whereas he was 10 behind that earlier. He's now 5 ahead. MBL's problem will be the time it takes him to get to Imperial, and Slam will be defensive now, and eventually get enough arbalists out and drop a castle or upgrade the siege rams upgrade the rams and take down mbl's forward castle um yeah but it's going to be a MBL slow process a lot of resource to actually click up to imperial so well even though he's doing a great job with his knight so far and look the hole in the wall it's I so know. disappointing on all those hills you suddenly find out there's the hole yeah and that's very difficult to spot that there that's almost like walking through the wall like a, a bloody super <laughs> boa cheat that is yeah, indeed. The knights doing an awesome amount of damage. It's just a pity Slam isn't able to react back to this. The Arbalest in the back dealing with a few damaged knights. Obviously, it's necessary, but he has a hard time 
dealing with the overall pressure which is MB which MBL is putting on him. And MBL's not letting up either, is he? I mean, everything's forward, it's aggression. I mean, look at the kills and the deaths, 88, 69, 69, 89. Slam's just behind on all of it. I don't know if MBL... MBL should really make sure he does get up to Castle AG in time, else he Imperial. might run into yeah, I think in the he'll... long run. I think he may try and buy his way up. Yeah, he's getting an additional gold mine right now, so it will help him get up a little bit. He's getting the stone for an additional castle. Slam is actually moving to the left of the map with four villages. I wonder what he's planning to do. And a town Another center, TC. actually. Not quite what I expected, to be honest. But MBL is still in this game. He's still well in this game, even though he shouldn't be. Another castle coming down for MBL, top of Slam's base. Yeah, indeed, just to make sure, well, they cover each other a little bit, get the Mangodar production in, that's what you want to get once you're going in with the Mongols. But even though I'm talking about going in, he's still really far away. But it will at least help him to deal with the siege, where Slam obviously has the superior siege as he's in uh, Imperial Age. Uh, the village difference not too big, military difference not either, so you you would almost want to say that it's in favor of Slam because the differences in population, there's only two differences in pop right I know, now. but I think Slam, it may, be, it may say it's in favor of Slam, but the longer this game goes, unless unless Slam really wakes up and starts playing and relaxing a bit, this to me this is like MBL's chance, should never have won this game. Yeah. MBL is clicking up to Imperial right now, but if I didn't know M uh, MBL was clicking up to Imp and I was just looking at this dashboard with only two difference, you would really say that the play in Imperial would have a huge advantage, but you can just see the pressure Slam is, uh, sorry, MBL is putting on, but Slam is moving forward with the Rams right now. Will he be able to actually get down one castle or two castles before the Knights get there? Yeah, I think MBL may, t may get some bills up to try and kill some of that. It's no point trying to repay. Against that amount He's of capped rams. He's... The knights are coming to get the rams, but I think the first castle might go down in the meanwhile. And there's no Mangadai in the neighborhood either to deal with the rams. First castle seems to go down about now. And he didn't have enough Mangadai either to try and sit behind or between those castles and take down the rams. Yeah, indeed. The a bit of a sloppy move by MBL losing him so quickly. Slam's base has sort of stopped with any sort of raid in now. And Slam is getting two stables on the left right now. Adding a third one. I wonder if we're going yeah, to he's see gonna raid, isn't he? some light cav. Yeah, he'll, he'll raid. I can't see him wasting resources on anything else other than light cav. Yeah, indeed. I think that's going to be... What we're going to see soon, some Arbalas trying to deal some damage, some Knights sent back by MBL to respond. And Slam is just moving back to the same location over and over again where he knows he cannot really do any damage. Yeah, the I think he'll... Slam though, so he might be able to push both of those castles down and this actually seems to be quite good for Slam at this stage of the game. Well, as should... he's really pushing back. It should be better than quite good though, shouldn't it? That's the only the only downside. I think he should have won this game very comfortable and easy. Maybe he'll, uh, hopefully he'll kick in now and he'll, if he does take this game, then he'll give him the confidence too. Yeah, indeed. Maybe Relax. winning a game just cuts him back into his element. Um, and Miel did spot the forward or slam right now, the stables that went up, so he should know there's something going on, but he seems to focus on his own push for now. Or actually, his own push is more getting pushed back right now. I'd be. I think MBL will maybe concentrate just skirms hussars. Yeah, I, he's I, already getting quite a bit of light cap out in this stage. So yeah, I can't. I can't see him here. getting the chance to build enough Mangadai to do anything against Brits. That'll, that'll be a long time coming. But I think his yeah. best move now is to. Like Carve Hussar and just raid Slam absolutely everywhere. Well, he's getting a new cast on the left side where Slam forwarded earlier. But... He's getting the Rams now, there's no Rams coming yet. 
I doubt one cast is going to be enough to actually get a reasonable Manganite production out in this war. No, which is why I think you should just go spam, spam, raid, slam everywhere, just spam them. I mean, he's got decent food, food economy, decent amount of farms, just spam the Hussars, get up to Hussar and just spam the buggers. Yeah, he's adding quite a bit of farms right now, so I think he's just going to do what you're mentioning, getting Sea Tram as well, by the way. Yeah, yeah well, Mongols. The only the only problem with Siege Ram is he's going to need a lot of stuff to defend it because Slam's going to end up with plenty of arbalists, and they're not, yeah, they're not the best um, Ram killers, but they're certainly going to be good enough. I think they're being researched for MBL as well, so maybe we're going to see some new Siege being added in against the Arbalest which are moving forward. And Biel might lose this forward gold, and this is actually his last gold, pal. He, uh, he actually has his second extra gold I, as well. I don't think he should worry MBL too much if he gets pushed off some of that gold, pal. I, I really yeah, think okay, he should enough. just spam. He's moving on to food units anyway. Yeah, yeah use, use your gold you've got for siege, and use everything, all the rest of your food and wood for farms and hussars. I think that's his best chance. Yeah, the knights are, but now Halberdiers are running out for Slam as well. He knows that Hussars are going to be a huge threat for now. He's adding more barracks, got all the upgrades already. Uh, well, not all the defensive and offensive upgrades, but obviously he got helps. And four barracks is in the null. Yes, yeah, goons. It should be interesting. <laughs> There's still a lot of game in this. There really is. Yeah, indeed. I... Interest in MBL. If MBL gets some decent uh, siege onager shots in on slam. Yeah, indeed, and that's what I hate. Whenever you're going archers in a game and you're just not watching them for a few seconds, it might cost you the game. But that's going to be very important for him. He got quite an amount of siege, adding skirmishes as well. So it's going to be siege, hussars, and skirmishes. There's no raiding, as you can see on the mini map, guys. There's nothing in Slam's base. There's nothing in MBL's base. Slam is just doing a strong push right now with three trebuchets and the halves to protect it. Well, not a lot of halves, but he should be able, as yeah, so MBL doesn't seem to have a lot of army stage over there either. I'm surprised MBL didn't do, didn't do an onager from the, from the um, siege workshops he's got by his castle. Uh, he's not keeping that castle up. Nope. And the traps might go down, all three traps going down full slam. So yeah, he's but he's just lost the, a he's lost the, the right castle side, though. He's still going strong. This will be MB the biggest problem for MBL. Slam gets mass, mass arbalists sat up on the hills that were around his base. MBL yeah, needs going to do a lot of damage. He needs to be aggressive. He needs to be all in Slam's Slam's base, which is obviously easier said than done. <laughs> yes, indeed. As he also has quite a bit of helps for protection. Some arbalists running around as well. Now, what I like to see on Slam's side is he's adding the light cap to deal with the siege and the skirmishes a bit. And uh, try and nah, this, this is impossible now for MBL. Slam yeah, this game is really in favour of Slam right now. Slam gets up in Europe on the hills. There's those... a difference in military and MBL not even fully upgraded. And there's really nothing stopping Slam to continue his push right now. I mean, there's a few light cap running around, some siege rams, which... Yeah, he's cheap. I think he's lost his decent-sized arbalist army here, though, cheaply, myself. Ah, yes, indeed. It seems like you've been fighting uphill a bit against the cap, and he's losing his trebuchets as well by a nice flank of MBL. And there was no need for him to just leave those arbs there, either, without, without any, like, cap support. MBL could just pick the majority of them off for losing hardly anything at all. But nice. Slam's there now, he's ready, he's got enough, he's countering everything. MBL's not in Slam's economy or base whatsoever. 
it's now a matter of time. There was a very short window there. I thought the NBL may have done something, which he should never have been able to. But I thought he may have. But I, I think that window is now gone. I love how NBL is still getting a defensive watch tower on his forward gold. One hour into the game, it isn't going to be as effective, even as a keep. But well, the population is actually not too far apart. But we can see Slam actually dealing damage over here, and where you mentioned, NBL is not dealing any damage, not raiding. Just, well, there's three Hussars right now in Slam's base, but that isn't going to do enough damage. That's all. This chance is gone now, I think. Yeah, and has nothing to really fall back on. Most of his production is getting destroyed as well in the progress. Even though population seems to close in a little bit, I don't think Slam just simply still pushing. But the hills are going to be crucial for MBL's base. He lose, if he loses either of the hills, either the one on the front or the one on the right of his base, then there's going to be nothing he can do to stop Slam going in and doing whatever. Yeah, he's just going to, once he gets on top of the hills, he's going to push on from down and... Slam is actually a bit awkward on the wood as well, because all of his wood lines are forward right now. So raining is going to be very effective for Slam, actually but any kind of push will do. Yeah, but the MBL's push is going to be successful at the front. He's, he's going to stop all of that there from Slam. And he's going to take that castle down. Yeah, I feel like there needed to be a bit more helps or light cap for, um, for Slam on that side. And I have to say, at some stage of this game, it felt really decided for one player or another, but it's actually going quite back and forth. The castle is going down, I think. Yeah, there it goes. And that means quite a successful counter push for MBL. Population still being very close. Slam needs to be careful, he doesn't lose his advantage of his Brits. He needs he needs those arbalists and he needs a, a, a lot of those arbalists. And then throw in your trash, but you need a lot of those arbalists, otherwise you just same old halberdiers. You can end up with halberdiers and light cav against elite scrooms and hussars. Well, all the gold has ran out right now and there's two relics secured for Slam, no relics secured for MBL. So, I doubt he's going to be able to make a lot of Arbalast unless he's able to sell a lot of resources, but he's not setting too high on resources. He got some wood banked up, but that isn't everything. MBL, however, has a lot of gold banked up, actually, but no wood um, with it to actually get more siege out. And it seems like Slam is really... Getting his troops together right now, but he might run into trouble. He having mainly helps against the elite skirmishes of MBL right now. Slam's still open on the right side as well. I'm surprised MBL hasn't picked up on this. He can pick a lot of his villagers there. And Slam is moving to the right of the map, and it seems like he's just going to scout for now. Nothing being forwarded or anything like it. Slam could just as easily with a few trebs just sit in front. I don't know why he's risking going so far forward or onto the hill with MBL wants him to fight. MBL's made his stand here. That's why he upgraded to um, guard towers. He didn't have the stone for castles, but he's made his stand across this line because he knows that that uh, elevation advantage in those hills there are crucial for him. He loses that, he's definitely lost the game. Yeah, indeed, but now we're in quite an interesting scenario where neither of the players really can have, an, have a good offensive push, but rather are uh, just capable of defending. We have MBL falling back on his hill advantage, we have Slam getting back to his castles if he needs to defend. Well, then I prefer MBLs. I prefer to be Mongols in this position than Brits. With the Hussars and the speed and the running round over the Brits. I think the Brit advantage is being lost if it comes to just total trash war. Well, MBL is getting more and more hussars in the economy of Slam, so the rating is finally doing a bit of a job. 
Um, Cavalier being researched for Slam, by the way, I doubt that's going to be very effective as I he don't. doesn't have a lot of gold to actually produce them. Yeah, I think that's a waste unless it was a misclick because it's so easy for MBL to counter as well. I mean, it's different than wasting a light cav or a hussar. There's no gold, it's just food from your farms. But wasting gold units into what's easy to defend. He got like seven decision. cavaliers right now. And I don't think that's really worth the upgrade. I mean, they're great against the Skims, will do well against the Hussars, good against the Siege, but they're just too expensive to get out in reasonable amounts to actually be effective. At this stage of the game, I definitely agree. Even though Slam is doing a great job collecting all the relics in my opinion, he's gonna, he is I don't know why. Right now. Yeah, I don't know why he doesn't take the other one that he's guarding. He's been there for ages. But interesting as well how there's still a bit of gold left on the map between the players. Um, like on the right side of MBL's base. I think it was his extra gold which he just is unable to mine. MBL's really going to struggle for the wood production though, isn't he? That's another big thing in Slam's favour here. Slam can keep, keep MBL from moving out. From his base, with us, Slam has already moved out all over the base, so he's already everywhere on all the extra clumps of wood. With us, if you look at MBL, he's got nothing left other than down the bottom of his base, which is constantly being raided. Left yeah, hand dude, side, no save wood income left for MBL at this bare. Point, So, yeah, that's really going to be a pain in the long run. Slam just has great map control on this point. He's doing a better job on the raiding, and it seems like he's actually having yeah, a really successful push with the light cavalry right now. This is a crucial fight for MBL. This is the big fight of the game for MBL. On to up on top of that hill. MBL will be unable to push him back out. Slam starting to come in with capped ram to take that TC down. And I think once that TC is gone, I hope Slam sends some vill, something up there to build. Even if he haven't got the res for yeah, castle. Indeed. But if he gets the heal, what's quite important as well, as soon as he gets to the left side, <laughs> MBL will just be unable to get any wood except on the small wood line. Yeah, but he's going to be completely south. spit. There you go. There's the GG. That's the GG. <laughs> I think MBL did as well as he possibly could in that game and I really hope this gives Slam a bit of confidence boost now because you could see all the way through that until later in the game I think Slam was extremely nervous or, or certainly playing unlike Slam. It was quite a game of back and forth. It was really interesting to see in my opinion. The small mistakes on both sides and that's really what kept the game on for so long. We felt like they had options to close out the game earlier. But, well, neither really succeeding. And that's what really made this game so far. And now.